Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yen. So, I am going to start a new challenge for 2021 over the next four weeks, a series of what I call Mobility Challenge. So every week, I will upload at least one video for us to work on our mobility together. It's going to be really easy, probably around 5 to 15 minutes of mobility flow. It's part of a way for us to get our joints all lubricated, get our body all prepared for for when the spring comes, we can start to do more um, intense workouts. All right, so you're gonna be at the pace with me. So please don't forget to hit subscribe to my channel so as to get updates to long time since I update you guys on some new workouts or challenges. I have been actually having a little bit of my lower back issue that I'm actually currently seeing a chiropractor right now to get really adjusted once and for all. Also because, you know, not being able to move quite a bit has also made me demotivated and my energy has been slumping. So that's pretty much what is going to limit in terms of what I can do workout wise. However, that does not mean that I'm just going to be lazing around right now. It's 2021. Happy New Year, by the way. Now, let's talk about what is mobility. You need to first understand what is mobility, what it encompasses, and what it does. Otherwise, you won't know the purpose of what you're doing. So, what is mobility? I like to use a very simple analogy. I like to keep things really, really simple for you guys to understand. No scientific terms. But if you don't understand, please ask away in the comment box. So so typically we understand what is flexibility. For example, when someone do a split, right? How wide they can open their legs or their hands, how distorted it can get, for example. Or when they do their back bends, you know, like how much they can arch. So these are typically, you know, we usually say, oh, this person is so flexible. Now that is pretty much right to say that. So flexibility is how much a person can bend out of shape from its um, starting position and then having to come back to the starting position, right? There's flexibility. So what does flexibility, what is the advantage of being more flexible? Well, being more flexible, obviously it just sounds like on one, it looks pretty cool on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, right? And it's probably kind of sexy too, in a way, for women. <laughs> for men, it just looks impressive, like Jean-Claude Van Damme. However, there are some, you know, cons to being too flexible, that is, there's a high risk of getting injured. Because let's put it this way, if a joint is too flexible, it's like, it's like a rock band, right? To a point of no return, you know, it gets too elastic and uh, without the proper strength around the joint. So for example, if a shoulder gets too flexible, right, when it goes beyond its starting position, it's there's a high chance of it being dislocated or even broken if there's a little... Um, or if there's some kind of impact force on it, okay? So what, how do we actually prevent that from happening um, too easily? That's when we need to combine some strength into our flexibility. Together, we call it mobility. So in a nutshell, mobility is what we should try to aim for, a combination of strength and flexibility. And if you really want to improve on your flexibility, it's best to also work on your mobility since it covers both strength and flexibility. Now we're going to just talk about what are the three main parts of the mobility challenge that we're going to work on. We're going to work on the shoulder joint mobility. Okay, so how do you know how flexible your or how mobile your shoulder joint is? A very good example is your overhead press. All right, so if you have a broomstick, like what I have over here, or an umbrella, or otherwise just empty, empty hands that will do. Um, it's pretty light. So what you can do is straighten your arm all the way up towards the sky. All right, I want you to try to do that with both your arms directly beside your ears. Okay, and when you do this, all right, I want you to watch how your lower back is like. Is it arching in order for you to bring your arms close to the ears? Or are you hunching this way? Both ways are not right, or not, or is telling me that your shoulder joint it's not very mobile. The other, the third way that someone doesn't have full function of their shoulder mobility is their back is straight, but they can't bring the arms 
directly aside with yours. Okay, you just show me in an example. All right, so this tells me that the shoulder joint is not fully mobile. So I think for me, I'm pretty good, right, guys? <laughs> okay, so we're going to be working on our shoulder mobility. Next will be our thoracic. Okay, put this aside first. Next will be our thoracic or our ribcage mobility. So this is where to run it, just slightly above the waist. So I like to, how do we know our mobility around here, right? Um, so most of the time, people may be mobile on their hips, but stuck on their on the thoracic. So what's going to happen is that when they start to rotate or go flat sideways, they're going to compensate it if the thoracic is too tight. So one of the ways I like to test the thoracic mobility or the range of motion is the trunk test. First of all, you're going to keep your legs slightly hip width apart, not too wide, not too close, but just about hip width apart. I hope you can see where my feet is. I'm going to go a little bit forward so that you guys can see. Okay. And then your arm's going to place out beside you, okay? Not too far back and not too far front. I'm going to come sideways so that you can see where my arms are, okay? So you see it's not really knee-t, but it's also not all the way back, it's not all the way front. Just slightly like a wide V-shape. All right, so from here, I'm going to rotate to my right, the side. And as I rotate to the right, I'm going to press my right toe down. I'm not going to move my hips or rotate my hips back. So you shouldn't see my left knee, this knee, the opposite knee, bending down as I'm turning. I'm going to try my very best. I'm going to inhale first. Then as you exhale, I'm going to rotate to the right. Watch my left knee, it's not bending. So my hips are pretty much as long as I can and pressing my right toe down. Okay, so it's pretty much how much, how far I can go. I really can't go anymore, actually, a little bit more. I'm going to come back center. And I'm going to repeat on the left side, so just my side. Now again, watch for my right knee, it's not bending, so I'm sort of locking my hips. Okay, I'm pressing my left toe down. All right, I'm going to come a little bit forward because my hands are touching the wall. I'm going to repeat again, my left side. This is how much I can go. Okay, now, because I don't have that tool to measure the angle, I'm going to use my feel and also the video. Right, which is something I like to encourage people to, to do it is that um, try to get acquainted. Understand your own body. It's always telling you something. So like when I move to the right or twist to the right, it's pretty much how far I can go. Feel like how I feel I can go. Come back to the center and then to the left. Again, watch my knee. My right knee is not bending. My left toe is pressing down. All right. So just based on my own feeling, I can tell that I think when I rotate to the right, it's a little bit easier, I have more range when I go my left. So that's how I like to test for it. Try it, all right? All right, then the next one I would, uh, we were going to be working on the mobility, it's your lower half, okay? It would be your hip, um, pretty much your hip, and your, yeah, your hip, your hip range of motion. Now, because my back is having the, um, a little bit of an issue right now, I'm not going to do a lot of hip mobility um, work, but basically, I mean, uh, right now with the video, but I'm going to show you when it's bad, <laughs> okay? So basically, when I try to reach for the floor, okay, when I try to reach the floor, or what we call in a hip hinge, you're going to see if I can hip hinge right, okay? I'm still trying to keep my back relatively flat to the top of my head, okay? So I, I do have quite natural... Um, Kind of okay mobility, so it's not so bad, right? And I'm gonna try to come back. Okay, actually, what we are trying to aim for is that as you are hip hinging, are you rounding your back to go down, or are you hyper extending, but locking your legs too too tight, too um too much? So if I want to exaggerate, I lock my my knees and go all the way down. So notice how my hips. Are actually not really moving. Okay, we want to have that, you know, we call it the um, pelvic tilt on the pelvis, but not too much as we are bending over. I'm going to come up. Again, right? 
uh, so if you don't understand what's been happening, basically we have been sort of testing out three main joints or three main areas of the mobility, which is the shoulder, the thoracic, and then the hip. Okay, and I didn't really go a lot into the hip area because I'm actually going through a bit of a pain around my low back, which I'm seeing a chiropractor now. And that is why we're going to do our mobility challenge in the next four weeks. All right, it's part of motivating me as well as to share with you my journey as I get back to being healthy again. So please take care, guys. I know it's been a crazy, crazy 2020, but 2021 is here now, so that's in the past. We're going to get really, really strong, fit, healthy, and positive together. All right, guys, take care and see you around.